being an animal lawyer plays into one of my core moral values, which is contribution. I feel like I'm contributing. I grew up in a farm right next to a national park, right next to Mount Kenya National Park. So we used to interact a lot with wildlife that will, you know, all the time just spill over and come over to our farms. And over time we started noticing the numbers were dwindling, going down. And then when I did a little bit of reading, I found out that poaching was such a big issue in my country. The animals were being poached not only not only in large numbers, but in the most horrible, painful way. You know, elephants, their faces were being cut off for ivory to be found. Big cats were being poisoned so that they don't kill livestock at all. So these were challenges that to me seemed inhumane and so cruel. Then I realized that I have a law degree and it's something I can fix the Centre of Animal Law Studies. It is the foremost animal law program on the planet. It's a melting point of where you meet academic giants, some of the industry leaders in animal law. The scholarship helped a lot in, you know, paying the tuition and helping students like me in Africa who ordinarily will not be able to afford this type of study. In my four years um, in Kenya, I've been able to train over 300 judges, over 400 prosecutors and hundreds of rangers and, and investigators on the best practices of handling, you know, wildlife crime cases. And I'm very proud of that because I've been able to, you know, build their capacity in an area where they ordinarily will not have received this type of technical assistance. By changing policy and by being in the courts, I can, with a stroke of a pen, help more animals than I can physically with my own hands on the ground. If you want animals to survive in the next 100 years, if you want to even put a stop to climate change, this is a fight you must get into. And trust me, it is fulfilling. I'm Jim Karani from Kenya, and I'm the next generation of animal law attorney.